Hey guys, it's Boyd. Welcome to Rocky Mountain Camper Vans. I'm here to show you through your Eurovan full camper today. So let's head on outside. I'll show you how to set up camp and start having an amazing vacation. All right, so when you get to camp, first thing you're gonna do is turn on your propane. Come down here, uh, propane tank is situated below the van. Keep in mind, this is the lowest ground clearance point on the van too, so you don't wanna go off-road it. Anyway, to turn on the tank, valve is right here. Right is off, left is on. Make sure you turn this all the way to the left so that you can supply gas to the appliances inside. So we're gonna send you out with a full tank of propane, but if you do need to get a refill while you're out on the road, this is the fill valve right here. It does need to get filled by a professional, um, so look for a gas station with a large horizontal or vertical propane tank, and they should be able to help you out. If you're having trouble, give us a call. These are your fridge vents. The upper vent is the exhaust for the refrigerator. The lower vent is the fresh air intake. Uh, the fridge does operate on propane as well as battery and shore power. So when you're at camp, propane is usually the most efficient way to do it. If you are running it on propane, uh, hot exhausted air will be coming out of here. You'll occasionally hear an exhausting noise and every now and then you'll see steam rising off of this. Not a big deal. Moving back from here, this is your shore power outlet. Female end of the plug plugs in here, male end plugs into the power source at the campsite. Make sure that the breaker is on at the campsite so that you're receiving power at the van. Down below that is your gray water dump. You've got eight gallons of gray water in the van. Um, to dump that, simply pull this lever out, water will start pouring out. Make sure you find an appropriate place to dump that. Most campsites have dump sites at them. This is your furnace vent. Um, the top part of this is gonna be exhausted hot air. The lower part is gonna be fresh air intake. Um, hot, hot air comes out of here. So just make sure you're not parked up against any dry brush or let any kids come over here and play in front of it. Um, but this system allows you to run the furnace at night inside the van without any fear of exhaust inside the van. All right, so when you get to camp, you're gonna switch over from driving mode, which looks like this, to camping mode, which looks like this. First thing you do, slide your seat forward, and then there's a lever over on the side. Lift, spin your seat around. The seat will then slide back, gives you a little bit more hangout room in here. And behind here is plenty of dead space for any bags that you're not using, shoes, things like that. The driver's seat will spin around too. Um, the mechanism is just over here on the inside of the seat itself. All right, so the next thing you're going to want to do when you get to your campsite is get a little headroom in the van. To do that, I'm gonna raise the roof here. First thing, undo this safety latch in the middle, let it hang down. And then there's two pop latches on either side. Simply push those two down and you can shoulder the top up and the pop struts will raise the roof and do the rest of the work for you. So when the roof pops up, it's already in sleep mode for the top. Um, best advice for people sleeping up there, make sure your head is facing towards the front of the van, not the back. And do me a favor, when you wake up in the morning, remember where you are before you sit up. Otherwise you're gonna get a headache first thing in the morning. All right, so to get up in the rooftop tent, you can monkey yourself up there however you want, but please do not step on the armrests. They will snap and break and you'll hit the ground pretty hard. So during the daytime, when no one is sleeping up top, you wanna to get a little bit more headroom in here. To do that, simply lift up. And push this back. First thing you need to do is Lift this black latch and pull forward on the seat until it locks into place in the forward position. Next thing, grab this second lever, pull, drop down your seat. Mattress pad will pull out, and flat down. And we have full bedding for you so you can make yourself a comfortable bed to sleep in. To put the bed back into the seat position, simply lift up, drop it down, Lift the lever, slide it into place. Every van that we send out comes fully loaded with all the gear you'll need to stay out on the road. Um, fully stocked kitchenware, pots, pans, plates, bowls, cups, mugs, wine glasses, even the all important us. Plenty of storage space inside here, all of your utensils, and more pantry space up top. Plenty of lighting for the van, headlamps, lanterns, 
And also we include a power inverter for the van that you can plug into 12 volt sources and switch over to 110. With the propane on outside, there are three appliances uh, inside the van that you need to know about. The first one is your furnace, and it's really simple. With the gas on outside, simply turn your thermostat over to the temperature you want the van to achieve inside. The fan's gonna kick on down here, the system will self-ignite and light, and you'll have a toasty evening out under the stars. All right, so onto the galley. Lift up the cover and you've got immediate access to your sink. You've got 10 gallons of fresh water in the van and eight gallons of gray water storage. The water fills in the back uh, and we'll send you out with a full tank every time. But if you do need to fill out while you're out on the road, we've got all the supplies to do that. Moving on from there, here's your stove. Grease shield pops up, locks into place. We've got a grill lighter inside the van for you. Make sure you always do flame first before pushing down on the gas knob over here, turning it and lighting up the stove. Shut it all down when you're done cooking. Everything folds back into place. Lid drops down, you're good to move on. All right, so the third propane appliance inside your van is your refrigerator. To light the fridge on propane, uh, start in the off position and roll the thermostat here back into the start position. From there, click on the flame icon. You'll hear the igniter ticking a bit. And then push and hold in the red valve right here until the green light on the fridge turns on. Once you've got a green light, keep this button held in for another 20, 30 seconds until you can let off and the light stays green. From there, make sure you turn your thermostat over between four and five. And you're gonna have a nice cold fridge for your trip. The next power setting is shore power. It's very simple. If the van is plugged in outside to shore power, click over onto the plug icon, put this between four and five, and your fridge will stay cold at your campsite. The third power setting is the battery. Battery should only ever be used when the engine is running and the car is moving. Otherwise, you need to switch it to off and decide between propane or shore power for the fridge. A few more things about your refrigerator. Uh, first, and maybe the most important, is this locking pin right here. Make sure you use that, otherwise the first left turn you take uh, is gonna send everything inside your fridge flying out. Next thing about your refrigerator is, when you open the door, you're gonna bring all of the cold air that was inside of it out into the van. So, make sure you know what you're going for when you open the fridge and reach in. In this case, cold beer. Third thing about the refrigerator, it does need to be level to work. You are gonna be level at your campsite, hopefully. Everyone wants to sleep on a level bed, but just keep that in mind when you park at a visitor center at a national park or state park, find a level parking spot if you're gonna be lighting the fridge on propane. The third and final thing about your refrigerator is that it is venting exhausted gas outside, but it is gonna produce a little bit of heat behind it. So if you feel heat coming up, from behind the galley right here, that's totally normal. You can always open the vent window and let a little fresh air inside. So above the fridge is the level test switch. That'll show you um, the levels of your gray water, which is also the holding tank, your fresh water levels, your propane levels, and the condition of your camping battery. Real quick, you do have two batteries in this car. The starter battery up front for the vehicle itself and the camping battery in the back. Both batteries are connected to each other so that when you drive, it'll, the alternator will charge your camping battery as well as the starter battery. But when you turn off the car, the two batteries are disconnected. That way, if you did run down the camper battery, you'll still be able to start the car. Also on the control panel, you've got a 12 volt power outlet here. That works at all times off of your camping battery. And then a 110 outlet here. That outlet will only work when the van is plugged into shore power and you've got power coming in from the outside. All right, so for your tables, really simple. They just unclip from the back of the seat here. Pull out and this bracket right here clips into the lip. Table drops down, you're good to go. All right, so here at the back of the van, we've got plenty of storage for you, all of the bedding. Uh, that you need to go out, towels, fresh linens, pillows, comforters. Plenty of storage back here for wet stuff. Shower sprayer in the back. Ooh. 
and your water fill right here. Pretty simple, the hose goes in and you fill up until water starts spitting out of the weep valve. So you want to remove the hose pretty quickly once uh, water starts spitting out of that little weep valve. You don't want to flood this area out. Directly beneath the water fill is the fuse panel for the entire van. Not much you need to know about down here other than that it is here. Um, however, when you are plugged into shore power, there's a little orange light right here that'll light up. That way you know you're getting power to the van itself. These are your furnace return vents. Make sure if you're using the furnace at night that those aren't blocked up with any bags or anything like that. Give them a little space to breathe. All the additional gear that you'll need to stay out on the road, including the external power cable for the van, fresh water hose, car emergency kit, uh, a shovel to make a potty with, um, are all stored in the bin underneath your lower bed compartment. There's a few safety features in the van you need to know about. First one is the propane alarm. It's tucked in between the tables and the galley itself. Propane's a heavy gas, so anything from the stove would drop down and set that alarm off. If you ever do hear it going off, please open up the doors, get out of the van, and shut off the propane as soon as you can. You've also got a fire extinguisher in the van over by the passenger seat, tucked away by the sliding door. Uh, there's a smoke alarm up in the roof. And finally, there's an emergency exit out the back. All right, so after you've pulled the bed forward, just make sure that you haven't left anything up in the top. The top can't come down with any bedding up there, any pillows, anything else you may have left up in the top needs to come down before it's lowered. To bring the top down, grab the handles in the roof and lower it until you can get the seatbelt in place. From here, the top's not gonna go up anymore and it's not gonna drop down. Grab your tent pull it inside, and then roll the front back behind these two brackets. So that when you finally do bring down the top, the canvas sits behind them. Next thing is to walk around the van, make sure you don't have any tent material sticking out, tuck it in if you do, and then come back in the van and lock the top up. To do that, each side clicks into place twice. I like to do it one click at a time on each side so you know you get all four. One, two, three, four. Make sure your safety belt is tucked away and you're good to get back on the road. All right, so there's your camper van. I'm sure you got a lot more questions. We'll go over all of that when you show up. Until then, I hope you're getting stoked for your trip. We'll see you when you get here. Come on.